Hey guys, it's Belinda. Today I'm going to show you how to fix those pesky question marks in your Revit title blocks that you just can't seem to edit. It's going to be a very short, simple video, but very useful, I think. Uh, whenever I start a project and I receive title blocks from the consultants or from the architect, most of the time there are these labels in the title blocks that are just question marks and I cannot edit them. So I end up going into the family and deleting those labels and creating labels on my own. But there's a very simple fix for it that I'm going to show you in this video. So here's a title block that I have from one of my projects and you can see I can edit the project number, change it to whatever I want. I can edit the original issue date, but I just can't edit the issue description. It's just a question mark. So what I'm going to do is go into the family and edit that. I'll then go into this issue description label and under properties, I'll hit the edit button. You can see it has a parameter name called sheet underscore issue description. And you can see it's a shared parameter. So what's happening is whenever these consultants send me their title blocks, they are not sending me their shared parameter file. So there's a missing link over there. That's why there's always just a question mark that you can't edit. So I'm going to export this shared parameter file and you can see it's just a simple text parameter. Uh, hit OK and then load this back into my project. So in my project, I'm going to go to Manage, Project Parameters, and I'll create a new shared parameter, but I'm going to use the exported sheet underscore description parameter from my family. And I need to select a category before I create this parameter. And I know that since it's a title block, it's under the sheets category. This is going to be an instance parameter, so I can change the value in different sheets if needed. And that's it. There's a new sheet underscore description parameter in my project. And now I'm able to finally edit that issue description to say whatever I want, 100% DD, CD, whatever. That's it. Like I said, it's a really short, uh, simple video, but uh, I think that might help a lot of you like it did for me. Do let me know if you have any ideas for Revit tutorials or scripts that you think would be useful. Uh, until next time, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.